Good morning. It is about quarter after five. Yeah, I wouldn't even know I was here. Well, bam, and we're off. I gotta carry my board up this thing. That should be uh, some fun exercise. Beautiful view. Man, this single track is just endless. It keeps going. <laughs> well, that brings today's adventure to a close. I'm missing a freaking wheel. How did I lose a wheel? <laughs> So we're back out here, exactly where we left off, where I lost my wheel. I had a full set of four wheels this time, I promise. I bought a replacement set and swapped them in. So this, this is literally exactly where I left off. This is the bridge where I had my last little chat with you guys. If you remember, last time I was complaining about all that dirt single track and I was wondering when it would end. <laughs> so <laughs> not 20 feet from where I lost my wheel and had to call it quits, a paved trail starts. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so let's uh, let's kick this off. We got 80 kilometers to do today. Literally, right here, right at this black fence. This is where it turns into a paved trail. Oh, I'm already on a paved trail. So, what a place to have it uh, fail on me. All right, from here on out, it is all paved trail to where we need to go in Pickering. Some minor road sections, but other than that, we are good. So I figured out why it was that I lost my wheel. Uh, as someone had pointed out, I kept reusing the same nuts on my wheels. Every time I would remove them to clean the belts and whatnot and put that nut back on, that's a lock nut. It's only meant to be used once, maybe twice, if you really want to risk it. So by the time I lost that wheel, it was basically like chucking a hot dog down a hallway with the way that nut fit on the axle. It just twisted that nut right off and Bob's your uncle, I lost my wheel. So I got an all new set of hardware, brand new set of wheels in the rear. Uh, check out that boat. Absolutely wild. Like I keep saying, man, the Trans Canada Trail sure takes you on some interesting journeys. <laughs> nice. Mississauga Lubricant Center. All right. Or road, here we are. This is our turn off. Should be a nice quiet side street, so I'm gonna get pasted by traffic. And oh, we do get a little, uh, do get a bike lane. All right, right on. I'll take it. And we should be coming up on our first charging stop soon. I'll only have to be there for an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Man, if I had to stealth camp, this would be the place to do it. <laughs> so where I thought there was a charger, there isn't, uh, but that's okay. Lots of options nearby. So this is the pin I put. Trail continues to a right here. We gotta go straight, because that's where all of our potential charging options are. So over on the corner of this building, I see some outlets. So that's a good fallback. The DQ will probably have some, but they don't look like they're open. I don't know what the cops are doing behind me here. They're blocking the road up. I spotted that Mr. Sub. This might be where we spend the next hour and a half. Now what's the deal today? Turkey, ugh. How's it going? Unfortunately, there is no air conditioning in there, and it was getting really friggin' hot to the point where I was sweating just sitting there reading while uh, waiting for my board to finish charging. We were there for, I think, an hour and a half. One of the finer sensations in this world is riding an electric skateboard on nice and smooth, relatively fresh pavement.
This guy on the road here, he's rocking a, a gas-powered bicycle. Those are very rare to see. See, so yeah, I got a total of 40 kilometers to my next charging stop, and then from there, uh, I believe it's another 35 to my endpoint. So we're making good time today. It's about noon, a little after noon. We're uh, on the outskirts of downtown Toronto right now. We're just to the west. Every time I see water like this, I want to have my boat out here putting around with my little trolling motor. Look at this. Look at how shallow that water is and how clear it is. I've never seen Lake Ontario that clear. So, it would appear I can't go through there. Yay, another trail closure. I love them. Oh, they make me feel so warm and fuzzy. All right, if I go up to the next road and hang a right, I should intersect with it again. came around the bend there and we are now officially in Toronto. Oh, I got some people with scooters up ahead. Yeah, there's a lot of people on these trails with electric rideables. So many beaches up this way. super toasty warm and plug in to the other guy all right everybody I passed is passing me now onward and upward yeah we're getting close to downtown now you could just see the downtown buildings through the trees there we are getting very 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 close to downtown So fun fact, I actually had some of my wedding photos taken here. Ferry goes to Center Island, I believe. So I need to be over there, but it's closed off all the way down. And of course, my battery runs out right here on the side of the road, where it's kind of hard to pull my pack off and change it out but that's what I got to do because it just ran dry you can see the bridge over there that goes over the water and on the other side is where I need to be unfortunately it's all closed off I have a feeling I'm gonna have a bit of a detour going on here Let's go and figure out how we're going to get over there. You know what, maybe I can turn this to my advantage. 
because in order to access all of the places I might be able to charge, I need to be on this side of the water anyways. And we're only uh, five kilometers away from the pin, and we're still following in the same direction, we're just on the wrong side of the water. that I need to be on. Getting close to where I draw my pin. Now we're just gonna keep an eye out for any lone outlets that might be lurking around that might say, hey, might be a perfect place to plug into to charge up your escape. And from here, we've only got like 35 kilometers to go for the day. We're actually making really good time snuck into this little side trail here it's just off the beaten path and give me a place to relieve myself real quick just far enough away from prying eyes just off of the main trail which is through the bushes over there this would also be a nice little place to stealth camp to spent after climbing that hill. I need air conditioning, I need fluid. How's it going? Leaside Community Gardens. Absolutely deserted looking. Works for me. It's exactly what I'm looking for. For a place to charge. Charging session was cut a little short because it uh, turns out they're closing for the day. But I got a good hour and a half of charging. One of my batteries is fully charged, the other ones should be at least half. So I should have enough to finish this. This is what I've been forced to do because there is nowhere to walk on the side of the river. We are slowly but surely hiking our way there. Hike aboard, Mike's favorite thing to do. Uh, this is what I was afraid of, I'm going over top of a big ass bridge. There's no way to get down there from here. Uh, crap. Okay, I got a path to get back on track here. All right, thanks to the power of Google Maps, we have gotten ourselves back down to the trail. I'm just gonna take this here, and it's gonna go right to a fork, and then I hang right, and then I am back on track back. Oh, this is exactly where I dropped the pin too. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm supposed to go up those stairs. Oh no. <laughs> I knew there was a turn coming up but I gotta go up those stairs. Oh, fuck. oh I've had enough climbing today. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, those buggers, they give you a false top. Come up here from down there, you can't see. There's another, one last flight. I'm gassed after that. somehow lost two of my four bottles of water between the time my backpack went in the car and when I got off the go bus two of my water bottles disappeared they were nowhere in the cargo area of the bus so I'm gonna bet I'm gonna get to my car later 
I'm gonna find two of the taller versions of these damn things in the trunk of my Nissan Leaf. Not much to look at on this section. We're just going down some side roads in a fairly industrial section of Scarborough. If I could get off the sidewalk soon, that would be great. Hey, Piv Trail! Now we're getting somewhere. Oh man, I got my own lights. Oh man, now that we've got open trail like this, I'm making some really good time. comes the question, where do we go from here? Because I have no clue. Literally fixed up right here. We need to enter the big scary bridge. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> big scary bridge. Who knows how much this is supported. Big scary bridge. With stairs on the other side. Oh dear. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how high up we are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mikey, don't do heights. Yeah, that time the battery just outright cut off. I think it, uh, it's getting a little too hot there. Alright, had a bit of a rest. Now, back on our merry way. I want one of those. I want that. Well, it's getting long in the day. And we're closing in on our end position. All right, we're winding our way down to the bottom of this hill here. And from here, this is where we start heading back towards the lake. I mean, it's a reasonable switchback. I can manage it on the board. Oh. Oh, hello, Mr. Deer. Wow, he was close. I didn't even notice he was there. So just before I flipped the camera around. <laughs> that was cool. It's on such a busy trail too. Wild. Well, this is annoying. A gravel trail. Okay, what does this say? No access beyond this point. Military tail, trail is under construction. Oh, why didn't I see a sign on my side? I assume it's okay for me to go across that way. I think it's just this little side trail I came in on that's closed. Okay, it's paved this side, so I guess it was just the other side that was under construction. I'm happy because gravel is really annoying, especially when it's the super coarse and rough stuff that I can't ride on. On some paved trail here, making our way down to the waterfront. Oh man, I'm starting to get really slower. One battery died. Now it's time to swap over to the other one. All right, good to go again. Well, we made it to the lake. We're only a hop, skip, and a jump away from where we need to be. We literally just follow this for another few kilometers. All right, one last push. Let's do this. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
across this bridge over to the other side. I will basically be right at the end. Yep, right over there. That's where I started. <laughs> and here we are. Here's the stairs where the Durham section on the e-bike picks up. So I've now successfully linked all the way from Waterloo and I've covered the Trans Canada Trail all the way through Sunderland. We now have an unbroken chain of coverage. Well, that's it for me. Awesome. Glad I had a successful trip. Thanks for watching. So, what'd I tell you? What's that? Two, two bottles of water that fell out of my pack. It sound right, boy.